Hey, what is up you guys? This is Perry with XP Corner and today I will be showing you a video of how you can rip your Blu-ray collection straight to your PC. And I'm going to be doing this because a lot of um, commenters have asked, hey man, how do you get out all those movies on your computer? And I will show you exactly what you need. And all the software that I'm going to be showing you guys today is absolutely free. You will not have to go to any kind of emails and do the little... Um, you have to fill out the survey questions to unlock the download. No, this is you go straight to this website, you download these videos, it is absolutely free and it works superbly well. And you will be able to get all of the Blu-rays that you rent or buy or borrow and have them saved to your computer. So in doing this and learning how to do this, you will never have to buy another Blu-ray movie again. And I will even show you how to rip um, 3D movies which a lot of people have said they've had a lot of hard, a hard time doing. You'll be able to rip, um, rip Blu-ray movies directly to your PC for free, for playback on your computer, your 3D enabled computer, or your 3D enabled TV. So now what you will need, you'll need a computer that's, that has at least a Blu-ray player. You don't need a computer that has a Blu-ray burner, but you will need a computer that has a Blu-ray player so we can at least recognize a Blu-ray format. And so the three programs, the three software that we're going to be using today are going to be Make MKV. Let me zoom in real quick. All right there, we've got a toward the bottom. You'll see it there. We've got Make MKV, Damon Tools Lite. That's going to be how you mount your ISO, and Blu-ray Copy. So those are pretty much the only software that you're going to need. Make MKV. Damon Tools Lite and Blu-ray Copy. Now both of these are going to have their benefits and these programs are very super simple. I mean super simple to use. So the first one that you're probably going to be using the most for those who just want to rip just Blu-ray straight to your um, computer without wanting to burn them later to a Blu-ray disc. If you just want to just rip them straight to your computer, um, the one that you're going to be using the most is going to be Make MKV. So I'll go ahead and open up that program so you can see and show you exactly how I do it. It's very simple. Okay, so you see the program has loaded. All right. Zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see that. Bear with me, this is my camera, it's on autofocus. Now, I rented the movie After Earth. Trying to wait for my camera to autofocus. Anyway, just trust me, it's 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 the After Earth movie with, with Will Smith and his son. I haven't seen it yet, but I rented it from Redbox for a buck fifty per night. It's due back tonight. And I haven't watched it yet, so I plan on watching it later. But I don't have a lot of time today. So what I'm gonna do, you put your Blu-ray movie inside of your Blu-ray player, give it time to recognize that it's reading something. You see the disc is starting to spin. Okay, that's my that's Toshiba's Blu-ray player. Let me delete that. What was that? Okay, so once it has been recognized by Make MKV, you're gonna click on the icon, it looks like a Blu-ray disc. Click on that. And what it's gonna do now, it's gonna read all of the files and put them into order. And it's telling me that this is a subscription software expires. And guys, but it's it's free, it's free. It's a beta, but I've been using it for at least a year now. Okay, now that's been accessed. I'm going to click it again. Starting my evaluation period, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sorry if you guys can't see this, but I mean, if, once you download the program, it's, it, you, you'll understand exactly what I'm telling you, because it's straightforward. So I know you can't see the letters right now, but like I said, it's, it's not really important. I'm just giving you an, an overview of what you need to do. And Okay, so now once you get that, it's going to show you all of these files that it pulls up. Now I'll zoom in again. Okay, so you see right there, we've got 
After Earth Blu-ray mastered in 4K and it gives you all of these different chapters. Now what you want to what you want to want to do is find the biggest file. So whichever one has the largest file, that's the one you're going to want to use. So we see right here the biggest one is 22.9 gigabytes. So we're going to uncheck all of the others cuz those are probably like movie previews, so uncheck all of them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into down arrow, down tab and we're going to find all of the audio. So we want the, the um, DTS-32 plus one. Lossless audio, I want that. I don't want the French, so I'll uncheck all of this. So uncheck the audio that you're not going to use, like the audio in Spanish. And uncheck the subtitles, except the ones that are in English or whatever language you prefer to have the subtitles. If you don't want them, just uncheck all of that. But make sure that you only check what you want, because otherwise you're going to get all of the movie previews and we don't want all of that. We just want just a straight movie and the best audio and the one subtitles that we're actually going to use. Okay, so once we've, we've gotten all that set up, just click right here on the right. There's a button that says Make MKV. You click that and it's going to say, do you want to create this directory, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to say yes. And I'm actually going to say no because I don't, I'm, I've already burned the movie, but I was just showing it for you. Okay, so, and that's it. It's gonna take probably 45, 50 minutes, sometimes less than that, sometimes 30, 40 minutes. But um, once you're finished with it, you can uh, download the movie, I mean, you can play the movie without the disc. So you can, you can burn it to your computer, and I'll show you a list of all of the movies so far that I've copied from Redbox on my second hard drive. Okay, so as you can see, these are all the movies that I have from Make MKV. And I have, I downloaded the, the, the VLC media player. Um, so I've got Cloud Atlas, Django Unchained, Doctored, Gangster Squad, Hansel and Gretel, Iron Man 3, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Paranormal, blah, blah, blah. All of these movies you, I downloaded strictly from Redbox. I got Redbox, went to Make MKV, got the file, downloaded, played it, and I'll even show you. Here's The Hobbit very quickly So it is, trust me, absolutely perfect quality. When you put it up to your surround sound, it's gonna be in 7.1 or 5.1. Whatever, whatever audio is on the Blu-ray, you're gonna get exactly that on your computer. So very good program. Again, it's free. I'll have a link in my um, description. So let me take this movie out. So now, what about the guys who want to, who are the um, 3D aficionados who want to watch 3D movies? Well, now here's a way that you can rip your 3D movies, and if you're like myself, you have a 3D computer, you can even play the 3D movies on your computer. So I've got The Hobbit here in 3D, which I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Buy this movie for just the quality alone. It's a really good movie, but as far as just Blu-ray, it looks beautiful on, on television. So here I've got The Hobbit. Okay, now for this, since it is a 3D movie, you're going to have to rip the ISO file. You can't make MKV because MKV is only going to be a stereo image, I mean a, a, just a, a regular 2D image. So in order for it to play, and that's my Blu-ray player trying to pop up automatically, let me turn that off. In order for you to rip the 3D movies, you're going to have to download two programs. The first being Blu-ray copy. Now, Blu-ray copy is the program that's going to rip the ISO file for the computer. Let me zoom in here. And it's very simple, very straightforward. I get my camera time to... Okay, so now I've got the disc loaded. 
So the first one I'm going to choose is we're going to go to where it says um, source. And I'm going to choose my Blu-ray drive, which is the Matsushita BD. Now the thing that about this program, Blu-ray Copy, it's very good, very efficient, but you have to have an internet connection. It will not work. You cannot um, burn a movie without first having an internet connection. So we've got that target. It's going to be the same as I want to save. Now you can choose. You can choose to save this file back on your um, drive, on your on your Blu-ray drive. So if you have another Blu-ray drive, you can you can burn it directly to a Blu-ray drive. You can save it as a BD folder, or what you're going to want to do is save it as an ISO. So save here for you guys, 3D, save as ISO. Save that there. No, because I'm not going to do it just yet. Anyway, so we've got that. Now, next it's going to say copy mode. Now, you have two options. You can do the full copy, which is going to copy the complete Blu-ray exactly how it is, on the disc or you can do just the main movie and that cuts out all of the um, the previews of the other movies so I normally do main movie because it, it's a much smaller size so we'll do main movie you want to change the name because it has the little underscores right there so change the name back to whatever like Hobbit 3D and click on this blue button right here begin burn it takes about an hour and a half. It takes a little bit longer for 3D movies. Okay, so once you've got your, your movies burned, you're going to want to go download Damon Tools Lite. And all this is, is a mounting program, which allows you to mount your ISO movies as a, as a drive on your computer. So you won't have to have the disc anymore. You can just now just click on this. It's going to mount, and I'll show you where the movies I've already downloaded. My 3D movies I've already downloaded. On drive D, 3D, and we'll look at the Avengers. Okay, now that's my 3D Blu-ray player popping up. And we want English. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. So guys, that's that's all you need. You need make MKV. Blu-ray copy and Damon Tools Lite. Make MKV for just regular Blu-rays. Blu-ray copy for the ISO so you can burn your also the 3D movies. And Damon Tools Lite to mount those movies to an ISO file. Once you've got all of those, you can burn away and it will be free of charge. Never again will you have to buy another Blu-ray. Just rent them from Redbox when they finally come out and burn them and you're good to go. All right, so thanks for looking. This is Perry with XP Corner and I will check you guys later.